said, this is not right. This is wrong, man. It is definitely not nine. I feel like it's seven. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is a comparison of the Stone Island Mist Long Parker Jacket versus the Macage Bomber Jacket. I've also got a Canada Goose Emery Long Parker Jacket. So that's two Long Parker Star Jackets and one Bomber Star kind of almost like a Chilliwack bomber style jacket with the fur and everything like that. Now I know a lot of people say where they're from it's like minus 125 degrees or whatever it is but here it's I reckon it's between 7 and 9 and for me it's absolutely freezing. In fact let me just do my jacket up. Weird. So for me it's super cold today, hands are super cold but bearing in mind my body is really warm and my hat is really warm so I'm good to go. I'm really keen to see which one of these jackets are the warmest or the most practical for this type of weather. It was raining earlier on today so the weather conditions are not too great, it's leaving a little bit muddy where I am but I really want to do this um, quick comparison. Let's do a little walk around and let's see what this jacket is saying, yeah? Two seconds. Right, so again, guys, I'm out here in the park doing another test review for you guys. And the jacket I've got on today is the Stone Island Mist Jacket. The Mist Jacket is actually um, part of the Shadow Projects Collection, which is a collaboration between Stone Island and a Berlin-based brand called Acronym. Now, what I love about the Mist Jacket is that they're really long Parker jackets. They're three-quarter they're three length. They are a little bit longer than the Canada Goose, for example, the Emery. This Mist Jacket is a true three quarter length jacket. Also the mist jacket is down filled as well so there's quite a lot of puff in this jacket. It is really thick but it's also designed to be super lightweight at the same time. Another thing to also note about this jacket is it is water resistant so you are going to get a little bit of that water protection when it does rain. When I first tried on this jacket I thought it was absolutely amazing but I'm not going to lie after wearing it a few times and because of the quilted material I'm not going to lie I do feel a little bit like a caterpillar wearing this jacket like a magical caterpillar when, with a special process that they've used they've actually used some I think it's like glass particles I could be wrong but it is using some particles within the jacket which gives this gives it this kind of shine and this type of glimmer so obviously seeing it from quite afar it's quite a standout jacket but I just can't help like feeling like a magical caterpillar it look it's definitely a standout jacket it's definitely very nice i'm just not sure if i could wear this every day another one of those special occasion pieces comfortability rating so the total rating for this jacket i'd probably give a it's tough i really do like this jacket but it doesn't have a hood it is quite expensive it is very warm though it is standout i think i'm going to give it a seven out of ten for this one guys okay let's quickly go and check out the macage jacket and see what that piece is saying Right, so the next jacket I'm going to be trying on is the Macage jacket. Now for some of you who may not know about Macage, they're actually a Canadian outerwear company. A lot of these outerwear companies seem to be coming from places like Canada because obviously it's super cold out there. We've got Moose Knuckles, Canada Goose, we've got Nobis and now we have Macage. The way that I check Macage is that they're trying to kind of like position themselves as the more luxurious version of outerwear. So just think Canada Goose meets, I don't know, D squared or something like that. Upper scale, upper tier, so slightly more premium materials. You might find leather detail going throughout some of the jackets and things like that. You can see the hood has got fur even inside, I don't know if you can see that, but even inside, inside the hood of the jacket, which is a nice touch for many of those who like fur. This jacket is feeling super warm, I'm not going to lie. The inside of this jacket is so nice. It almost reminds me of something that I would expect from Montclair inside this jacket because the lining is using a premium nylon finish. The, the padding inside this jacket is super nice. It does feel really good quality. Now, Macage definitely not at the lower end of the scale when it comes to price points. In fact, they're more expensive than Canada Goose, I find, in um, a lot of their outerwear 
jacket. For those who are looking for something a little bit different from the Canada Goose, from the Moose Knuckles, and they're trying to look for more brands that are a little bit more understated, a little bit more underground for the UK peeps at the moment, then Macaj is definitely a viable old alternative to look for because the quality is there. Obviously, with this being a bomber jacket, it's only going to give me protection up until my waist. But what I'm finding with bomber jackets like this is that jackets, there's a lot more emphasis on the top half of your body. There's more materials, more down. I do actually feel like it's warmer than the than the mist jacket that I just tried on. I do feel like there's a little bit more weight, whereas the mist jacket was quite lightweight. And don't get me wrong, even though it was lightweight, it was very puffy and warm, the mist jacket but this one just feels a lot more sturdy. Right, so one thing I forgot to mention about the macaj is the pockets on the inside are actually fleeced, just like the Canada Goose, just like the Nobis, just like the Moose Knuckles. So if your hands are feeling a little bit cold or they're a little bit wet, put them inside your pockets, dip them around, give them a good old fashioned shake like it's a cocktail and your hands should come out warm and dry, okay? It's got like a double layer as you can see here with two zips so the actual whole hood and the fur can come off. That is another option for guys that are not looking to rock the fur, okay? Right, so listen, let's move on to the last and final jacket which is the Canada Goose Emery jacket which to be honest with you is actually my favorite Canada Goose jacket at the moment. I'm gonna tell you why, okay? Two seconds. Okay, onto the final and last jacket, which is the Canada Goose Emery Parker jacket. Uh, I've never had the Emery jacket, it's my first time, but when I tried it on, I was like, do you know what? I just really love the jacket. I feel like it's got a bit more sturdiness. It does come with fur, but I've taken it off because I just don't feel like I need it. It's warm enough as it is. I love the length, I love the color of this jacket as well. It being a dark green kind of forest color jacket is really nice, especially for this time of year. The padding on this jacket is really, really warm. Also, the jacket is just like the rest of the Canada Gooses. It is water resistant, it is windproof as well, using Canada Gooses Arctic Tech material, which is specific to only uh, Canada Goose. Lengthwise, it's really good. I feel like it's really practical. I feel like it's not too stand out as well, so you can wear it every day and just get your everyday wear from it. So for me, the Emery, I think the Emery has to get an eight, you know? The Emery has to get an eight out of 10. I absolutely love it. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light. Canada Goose Wise is currently my favorite Parker, so that's the one I would recommend. But in today's test with the three jackets that I've just worn, the Stone Island Shadow Projects Mist, the Macage Bomber Jacket, and now the Canada Goose Emery, I would say the warmest out of all the bunch, it's probably actually the macage, you know? The macage just puts so much emphasis on the top half of your body and you feel the weight on you, you feel the warmth, you feel the hug. So if you're wanting something that's gonna give you that kind of real maximum upper body warmth and you got the cheese, then the macage is definitely one to look out for. It's definitely if you're looking for something different. After that, in terms of warmth, it's probably gonna be the Emery Parker, to be honest with you. And it's like my ultimate, currently, it's like one of my ultimate practical jackets to own. The Stone Island Mist, that's gonna be third. It's not too far off, to be honest with you, from the, from the Emery Parker. It's lightweight, it's got a lot of down. It is practical in terms of you being able to move around and stuff like that, but in terms of the looks of the jacket, it is very, very standout. So you either got to be very confident or in the mood to rock this jacket because not everybody wants to be rocking um, super bright colors or you know super standout jackets all the time okay but anyway guys that is the reviews for all the jackets I hope you enjoyed the reviews I hope you found them informative and useful I will be doing more reviews like this you know different types of jackets as well um, some cheaper jackets as well versus more expensive warmer jackets to try and get my views and opinions so that you guys can go out and make yourselves an informed decision okay and remember if you're looking for winter jackets then why not check the hoxandtrend.com that's your number one place for you to kind of find um, clothes online for all different budgets okay you can also find sales deals and all types of crazy stuff on there so yeah make sure you check it out guys whew, it's hard work man but you know what I'll be back again doing lots more so make sure you stay tuned I'm out of here peace out <laughs>